Jaws is the reason I won't step foot into the ocean. There is no place for man in that watery grave. Uh, although it could also be due to poor parenting. Uh, my folks let me watch that film at quite a young age and it scarred me for life. Regardless, there's been a lot of shark movies over the years. Today, I'm gonna feud my favorites. It's Jaws versus Deep Blue Sea versus The Shallows versus Open Water on Movie Feuds. that sometimes these feuds are a little bit one-sided, but I wanna talk about shark movies, damn it, and it's interesting to hear people's thoughts below, so let me do this, let me have this. The 1975 Steven Spielberg picture brought with it some really solid performances. Roy Scheider as Brody was a great everyman, but Robert Shaw as Quint stole the picture as the hardened pro fisherman slash shark expert. Hooper is no slouch when it comes to sharks either. Dreyfus puts in the work as a charismatic sidekick of sorts. There is plenty of supporting cast at play, but the picture really focuses on the trio and their shitty boat trip. The Shallow strips things down, quite literally, as Blake Lively carries the bulk of the picture on her perfectly sculpted shoulders in nothing but a swimsuit for the majority of the film. And much like her husband's survival film Buried, she does a great job selling the situation on her own. Her seagull companion doesn't get any credit. I'm gonna give him some right now. He gets a bird round of applause. Ka-clap, ka-clap, ka-clap. Hey, I've done a lot of these episodes. There's not a lot of material left at this well, okay? I'm, I'm running pretty dry. Open water is just as personal, with the focus being squarely on the two couples lost at sea. Relatively unknown actors Blanchard Ryan and Daniel Travis really get into character as they swim along real sharks for the bulk of the picture. The biggest cast by far comes from the crew of Deep Blue Sea. To say this is a team of B-list actors is a compliment. We get a hodgepodge of faces. Thomas Jane leads the picture as cocksure Carter Blake. LL Cool J plays a chef by the name of Preacher. Much like The Shallows, he too gets a bird sidekick in the form of a stupid parrot. Expendable supporting cast comes from Stellan Skarsgård, Michael Rappaport as the annoying comic relief, and Saffron Burroughs as the lead doctor. Now for the most important characters, the sharks themselves. Jaws and The Shallows focus on one big son of a bitch who is relentless. The Shallows gives a bit of a reason for his aggression. She interrupted the feeding ground, so naturally it's time to die. Jaws is just a great A asshole, picking off family members and friends left and right. Open water goes 100% accuracy, using real sharks for the duration of the film. I liked that for the most part they were always looming but never seen. Deep Blue Sea puts the shit front and center with some very comical moments. They are humorously large in the best way possible. When you stack it all up, Jaws takes a bite out of the competition, but The Shallows does very well, gives a good effort. Simple is typically the best approach for these types of movies. Jaws is the story of a shark terrorizing a local beach. A cop, a seasoned fisherman, and a marine scientist step in to save the day. Things go Moby Dick in the third act when the three men fight the beast in his battleground. It's intense as all hell and you grow very attached to these three different walks of life facing a huge threat. Blake Lively proves that a two-piece swimsuit and a giant shark can make for a very entertaining night at the cinema. She decides that being dropped off by a complete stranger she tells not to return to pick her up even though she has no idea how she's gonna get home. In a remote location she doesn't even know the name of, amongst a few sketchy individuals, is a nice day at the beach. Little does she know, there's a giant shark just waiting to chew off her leg, and chew it does, forcing her to survive on a rock for a good hour. It's a gripping and well-crafted little flick, keeping you on the edge of your seat. Open water is not a great watch. It's pretty boring for the most part, but that's kind of part of its charm. Filmed with that terrible Blair Witch approach, it puts you in the mindset of a couple just heading out for a fun vacation. The locals are shitty at counting, so they leave these two lovebirds stranded in the middle of open water, surrounded by sharks. What makes this movie really off-putting is the fact that it's based on true events. Just picturing a real couple treading water, waiting for help, or more realistically for death, is a tough pill to swallow. Then there's Deep Blue Sea, a real dumb but really entertaining movie about a woman who has discovered the cure for Alzheimer's, a disease her father suffered with for many years. This cure comes at a price though, eventually leading to the wiping out of the human civilization by advanced monkeys that can talk and walk and use weapons. I'm thinking of Planet of the Apes now. They both share the same premise. Anyway, she injects some serum into sharks which make them bigger, smarter, stronger, and faster. They're essentially the Kanye West of sharks. Chaos ensues, Samuel L. Jackson shows up at one point, as he inevitably always does, only to die in a comical fashion after giving an awesome speech. I would be lucky and honored to go that way. 
but most likely it's going to be alone on a toilet uh, face down in my own filth. Oh, am I on the toilet or am I face down? It's all very, it's convoluted at this point. Not even gonna humor this round in terms of music. There's a clear cut winner here. Not discrediting the others because they're all serviceable, but Jaws is hands down the victor. John Williams crafted one of the most memorable scores in movie history. It instantly alludes to a sense of fear. You are going to be hard pressed to make it through your life without someone humming the theme song to Jaws as you step into a pool, a lake, a river, an ocean, any sort of body of water, a bathtub. As for the effects, I've already touched upon them, but I think Jaws and the Shallows really shine. Spielberg accidentally struck gold when his robotic shark kept malfunctioning in the water, forcing him to keep the beast at bay for most of the picture. This increased the tension to the audience, the idea being whatever we imagine is far scarier than what we can see. This tactic would be used over and over again in countless pictures to great effect, and The Shallows welcomes it with open arms as well, keeping the camera close to the action, kind of at that water level so the eyes half up, half down. You're constantly looking in the shadows trying to find that great big shark. Open water's shaky cam bullshit works once our leads hit the waves, but everything up until that point is just a chore to watch. Deep Blue Sea has very dated effects. Explosions look terrible. The glass breaking sequence is laughably bad. The sharks themselves are cartoonish. Yet all this comes together in this stupid, wacky, loony package, and I just can't get enough. Uh, I mean, the winner is not gonna be this. It's Jaws or the Shallows for this, this portion. Right as they might, no one can topple the king. Hell, Jaws even tried to topple itself a couple times and failed miserably. Open Water was an interesting spin on the premise, which also mustered a sequel. Didn't see it, I imagine it's awful. Deep Blue Sea is grade B movie fun, and The Shallows is by far the best monster survival movie I've seen in some time. As always, you weigh in in the comments, vote for your winner, and remember, I'm Adam Olinger, and this is more than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. You know, I'm actually surprised they haven't ruined Jaws by making a reboot with an all-female cast. Melissa McCarthy, of course, playing the grizzled veteran fisherman Quint. Or I guess she could be the, the shark too. <laughs>